What's up everyone, I'm back with another video and I think today I'm going to cover Akuma and his options from Demon Flip because I'm pretty sure everyone's seen like whether it be on Twitter or on YouTube or any social media platform that Akuma's broken basically. Um, I do agree with that opinion but um, Raven has some good options against Demon Flip and that's one of uh, Akuma players main kind of like getting tool or pressure tool is to keep the pressure with uh, demon flips and the mix up so i'm gonna i'm gonna set him to do different options from demon flip and i'll go through them one by one so he has i think i think he has five options so he has demon flip one two three four and then he has a demon flip grab so we'll go through those options uh all right i need to record him so normally akuma players they like to do from while standing two or uh, from two or from down three, but normally they just do this. So okay, we'll restart it now and then yeah. So we'll just do from while standing two, and then we'll explore options on how to beat it and option selects and stuff like that. Okay, so my bad. He has six. He has six options. This is his sixth option. The sweep. But the option select is kind of like a half option select because one option beats the option select that I found. But um, okay, so we'll record Demon Flip 1. Okay, then Demon Flip 2, 3, and 4. Uh, okay. That's Demon Flip 2. Demon Flip 4. Uh, oh, wait there. Demon Flip 3, I think, is next. Yeah. Alright. And then uh, Demon Flip Delayed Grab. Because if you do Demon Flip and Grab, it's not you're not going to grab them. So, like, a common players, they have to kind of, like, delay it a little bit. Like that. You can't just do it straight away. Because it's not going to grab them. So, what we're going to do is... Yeah, like that. That will work. Okay. So, first option is Demon Flip 1, I believe. So, let's try that. Alright. Demon Flip 1, right? So, what I like to do is delayed Power Crush because her Power Crush in Season 3, it tailspins in midair. So, um, if I happen to catch him floating, it will tailspin and if he lands or he's about to land it punishes his options so if i do it early i like to delay it but if i do it early it will either go under or tailspin depending on the option but i like to delay it a little bit so this is just going to punish right so that's demo flip one so now we're going to do let's see what this option is i think demo flip two yeah so we're going to delay the power crush and it still punishes and I'd still take damage, but the damage that I deal on Akuma is greater than he deals on me, so it's kind of a, a trade in with the Raven player's favour. Okay, so that's Demon Flip 2. Now, what is this option? Demon Flip 4. So, there's a few things that can happen. So, if, if you do it early, you got underneath. Um, and if you delay it, I'm pretty sure he gets tail spun, so... Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it just punishes. So you don't get a spin. But... I think... Yeah, so what happens is, normally, when Akuma players, like, cross up or, like, cross over, they always mash down four because that's the only thing that they can do, like, from back turn. So, okay, to get out of this, you can just... You can just hold up back. And it, and it will evade all options uh, if this happens in this situation. So you just hold up back and you can just get out of it. Okay. So Demon Flip 3 now. This is the Tailspin one. You just have to delay it. Wait there. What is going on? <laughs> what? Nah, Demon Flip... Oh, wait, wait. I know why. I know why. Wait. I know what's happening. Okay, let's do it again. 
Alright. Why isn't it working? Oh, wait, no. I recorded the wrong thing. I'm so stupid. Alright. Oh my gosh, training mode is so clunky at times. Alright. This is Demon Flip 3, because I, I did it in a weird order. I did it in a really weird order. Alright. Wait there. Yeah. Now it should work. Why isn't it working? I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, wait. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so trash of Akuma. Alright, wait there. <laughs> Demon Flip 3. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the one that tail spins. So, just delay it. And even if it goes underneath, you can just hold up back and get out of anything. So even if you miss time the Yeah, even if you miss time whatever you want to do. Uh power crush. You can still get out of it and I'm gonna show you how you can get out of it in a minute. But this is the combo that you can do with Raven. But you have to like do forward forward four really early. And but normally it gets I don't know why it's not working but yeah. If he goes under hold or back if you delay it correctly, you're gonna you're gonna float him for a combo. Any combo you want, it's okay. Um, okay, now we have grab, and this is the only option that beats the power crush. But if you do it early, it's not gonna grab you. It's gonna tail spin. So you kind of have to make uh, you kind of have to predict what they're gonna do, because if you do it too early. If he doesn't do grab, it's gonna go under some options, but as I said, you can just hold up back um, to get out of anything else. If you delay it for grab, you get grabbed. If you delay it for anything else, it punishes or it tail spins. So it's a good uh, it's a good way to deal with it, to deal with Akuma's demon flip because I feel like Akuma players they just go to demon flip and jumping around and stuff um, as like a main way to get in and. This is the thing with 2D characters, they have good jumps, so it's not like a normal Tekken character's jump, it's, it's like mad floaty, so wait, let, let's record and watch the jumping. Like, it's it's so floaty and like, high. Same with Eliza, same with Geese, they all have this floaty jump, and Tekken characters don't have that. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna record uh, a Demon Flip 4, and then I'm gonna spam down 4, down 4, down 4, because when Akuma plays our back turn, they always spam down four, or they spam jab. And if you hold up back, it's gonna evade both options or any option that they do from back turn. So, right. Oh, I didn't record it. Wow. Okay, wait there. Okay, I'm just gonna spam down four. Okay. Why isn't it working? I don't get it. Oh, wait. Yeah, see? Now. So yeah, okay. So he's spamming down four. So now... You just get out of it. And even if they do anything else, they just get out of it. But now, okay, it looks a bit slow, the down four. So now I'm just gonna spam it. Like, as soon as I finish the demon flip, I'm just gonna spam it. Yeah, see? Now. Let's try this. It's gonna work. Yeah, see? You can just get out of it. You, like, it's not even a... And even if he does jab, down jab, you can get out of that as well. But normally a Kuma player just spam down for after... Uh, when they're in back turn. Uh, this also beats forward 3 plus 4. But I think if they do something else like... Jab, it's gonna, it's gonna float. So it's just safe to do up back. Because you want to just make yourself as safe as possible against the Kuma, because... It's not even about getting uh, advantage, it's just about getting out of the mixer, in my opinion. That's how you're going to beat Akuma, and then it's just going to kill himself. But first you need to like uh, find a way to deal with that stupid move. So yeah, so if, if you delay it, it's just going to punish. Wait. Yeah, it will just punish. If, if you're early, it's going to go under and just hold it back. Let's record... I haven't actually tested the down jab, but I'm pretty sure jumping back is going to evade the down jab. 
anyway because it's uh, down dab is like a special mid so it, like it's a low and it's a mid so you can low parry it but it's a mid if that makes sense like it's green yeah see how it's green and then this is <laughs> wait what normally it's like some different color but yeah this is down jabs are like special mids they're classed as lows and mid I, I don't know how to describe it but you can low parry them and yeah so okay I'm gonna record him doing there we go yeah it will just get out of it yeah it, it, you, you can just evade it I don't even think down four is the is the best option they can do because even if I don't hold it back you can just get out there's no range see it doesn't even hit me so yeah holding up back is the best is the best option I just have to clip that quickly so um for I think for other options so let's say you don't want to do power crush and you only let's say you predict him doing a uh, a demon flip four or something um you can do this which is gonna float this floats too um so let's let's explore some options so this is demon flip four right see it floats so the combo would just be like something like this you can experiment but just something you know something small like this and sometimes it even crosses up and you can get a, a better combo let's see if i can do it again yeah see and then yeah that's 61 damage from a mistake that he made you have to make him pay honestly you have to make him pay that's 61 damage from a from a failed demon flip from a brain dead demon flip okay so that's demon flip four um what is this option demon flip two this is gonna float two demon flip two yeah you can float i think i think the only option that beats this is demon flip one and akuma players don't really do this option anyway so it's like it just depends on what you feel like the akuma player is gonna go for but down forward four is a good option Yeah, Magic 4 doesn't work for Raven because it's not high enough. Something like Kazumi is would be would be suitable for this. But sometimes it doesn't like it just goes over the four. Let's say I'm a bit late. Or early, just really early. It will just go under. Some options. So I think downfall four is, is a good option. So that's demon flip two. So what about demon flip? That's demon flip four again. Uh what about demon flip. Demon flip free. Yeah, it's gonna float this too. So basically, every option other than demon flip one is gonna float. It's a good option. So you have power crush, either delayed or um, straight away. And then if you do it straight away, if it, if you can react to the animation, so if if it goes under, just hold it back. If you get a tail spin, it's 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 all good. See? Just something like that. Some, some small combo. Let me try and figure out a combo. There is one. This is the combo, but sometimes it doesn't hit Akuma for some reason. He has a weird body. You have to do it like really fast like this. I don't know why it's not hitting. It's weird. Yeah, that end is supposed to hit, but Akuma's is a bit weird. His body is weird. Let's try it again. It definitely works though, because I've done it before. Hmm. It's weird. Let's try it again. Let's go. I think this is the one. What? Okay, maybe we just have to delay the four. Four, four, four. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, see? See, it does work. It does work. Just delay the four, four, four. Yeah, I think this is gonna work too. Yeah, see, just delay the forward for four, and then you can get the full combo. Fifty-one damage, and that's with no wolf splat. With a wolf splat, like in a traditional stage. So let's do it from this angle now. Oh. Even with yeah, even with no ender, you can still get a massive, massive damage. So wait, let, let's do it from uh, full screen. And probably carry. 
Oh, come on. Okay, let's do it from here. Come on, Akuma. Come closer. Oh my god, no! Wait. <laughs> Oh, this is this is this is this is going bad. This is going bad. <laughs> okay, wait. Come on, come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's go. Oh, okay. You guys get the picture. I'm not gonna do it again because <laughs> this is long. But yeah, um, delayed power crush causes tail spin. Um, but I think. It depends what they they want to do, cause like they can they can fake it out and just do while standing too and nothing else. Um, but the thing is, if they do that, so I'm gonna record him to do while standing too, right, and then just hold back. Uh, yeah, and just hold back. And um, the thing is, I think power crush is a punish anyway. Wait, what? Oh wait. Yeah, is is it's a punish maybe not so okay see they can just bait you out so this is why down forward four is good for this reason because this is a punish and and this whole string is guaranteed it's a natural combo 43 damage and you can just react to the animation it's just a punish they like you can't get out of it so like you can kind of delay it you can delay it. You can just uh, hit confirm this. You can definitely hit confirm. Because if if they do while standing two and no demon flip, boom, you do this. If they do demon flip, just do one. And it's going to float. Because it has like a slightly different block animation. I don't know how to describe it, but let's try and let's see if I can show you guys what I mean. And then let's let's put these both on. Okay. See? And then I'm gonna try and just react to the demon flip. See? See? That was perfect. You can just react to... If he does while standing too by itself, you can react to it. Because there's no demon flip. You can react. You just have to be sharp. You, you will hear the noise. You'll hear the noise. Wait. Okay. He didn't do it then. He didn't do it then. Oh, you have to be very sharp. Okay, did it that time. What's he gonna do now? Yep. Come on. Do it. Yep. So you just have to be quite sharp and then you can just react. But um, yeah, those are the options. I think I think those are Braven's best options. I'm pretty sure she has loads more. Like, um, wait there. She has a. She can do down forward three two, but it's not. It's not the best option. Like it crosses up, but yeah, it doesn't really do much. Like it doesn't do anything. It's shit. So just stick to. And as you can see, inconsistent too. Did you see that hip? That hitbox. Like what is that? So just do delayed power crush. It's gonna beat basically most options. Or tail spin. Um, or you can do down forward four to float whatever he's gonna do. So yeah, those are those are Raven's best options. But yeah, that was just a quick video to show her options and anyone that's struggling in the matchup, uh, especially Akuma's that spam this move, Demon Flip. Uh, you have some good options there against it now and some kind of like I'd, ca I'd call them semi op uh, option select because they don't beat everything and op an option select is kind of something that beats both options or all options but it, it doesn't really it just it beats most so it's kind of a half option select but yeah if if you have any questions or anything just comment down below or just hit me off on socials and ask questions